Hello, we're back by popular demand talking about the Toyota RAV4 Prime. This is an SE edition. It's a 2021, but the 2022 will be the same. So in the last video, I had actually told you about the things that annoyed me with the car. Uh, we've done one in the winter, in the extreme cold. We've done lots of them. And uh, today we'll continue by showing you some of the things that we've added to the RAV4 uh, and specifically things that will enhance or make your life easier in the RAV4. So some of these uh, little gadgets and some of these things have been sort of, you know, uh, sporadically uh, seeded throughout different videos. Uh, we're adding some new additions to the car and I thought I'd point it out. So first off, uh, we discussed the battery. That was one of the things where the 12 volt battery may not keep its charge very long in these cars. So one of the solutions is to add a charger and that's one of the first things we'll be talking about today. So by the way, if you enjoy this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. That really helps us out and we really appreciate that. So the first thing I wanna talk about today is the NOCO Genius 2. So this is a very small two ampere charger that we'll be able to leave permanently in the car. Now you're gonna say, well, why do I need one of these and what exactly is the 12 volt battery problem? Uh, there's a lot of people with actually RAV4 hybrids as well that are complaining about this. Uh, specifically for the Prime, some people have noticed that things like fans or electronics are on all the time. So if you were to leave your car or your SUV in this case, uh, somewhere parked for an extended period of time, you may end up with a dead battery. Uh, I checked it recently. I mean, I, you know, charge it regu regularly. I use it maybe once a week or, and, or so, and the battery is actually low. So I decided maybe that some of these other video um, or podcasters were right about the 12 volt batteries being potentially a problem if you store it or don't use it for an extended period of time. So here, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and sort of open this up since we do open up a lot of products on this channel. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Okay, so what we have here is really the chargers. You can tell it's really small. It's about the size of the palm of my hand. And you've got the one end that is going to plug into a normal 110, 120 volt um, power. And the other side, you're gonna see has a connector here. And the other end of this is a connector with uh, little clamps. Now what you can do is you can go ahead and there is a screw in here. You can take the screw out and then you'll end up with something that you can, uh, basically it's just a, a ring there that you can permanently put on your battery. So if you want to leave the clamps, you can. If you want to permanently connect it to the battery or to the poles, you could do that. So let's go ahead and take a look. And here's a little mounting bracket, basically. So the bracket really is with Velcro. So the idea is that you should be able to screw this in. Uh, I think I'm not just, I'm just gonna glue it in or stick it to the frame. Uh, we'll see. So we'll take a look. Now let's take a look at where the battery actually is in the RAV4 Prime. So if you're gonna go look in the front of the car, you're gonna be surprised there is nothing there to look at. So where you're gonna find it is in the back. So you're gonna have to lift this and the reason I lift all this and you're gonna find all kinds of lovely things and the battery is actually way off here on the right side of the passenger side of the RAV4 and what you need to do is you need to pull it out towards the inside and that is where you are going to find the battery and what you do is you simply connect this the male to female real easy clip it in and at that point, we just need to plug this into the power. And this will allow us to have charging. There we go. And so there we go. So you can change the mode, of course. And this is, so you can change it. And we'll go ahead and put it to 12. So this is what it looks like completely installed. So basically, as you can tell here, what I've got is the wire that will just stick out here. And at any point I can go ahead and unclips this. Or most likely what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put some Velcro on the back here and possibly here and just stick it. So it sticks somewhere around there. And uh, to my surprise, when I charged it, I don't know if you can see this, but 
Um, it only had one light and now it's up to, uh, you know, the third one. So clearly it needed charging. So as I said in one of the other videos, uh, if you're not using it often, the Prime does slowly uh, use the 12 volt battery for the different electronics in the car and eventually depletes itself enough that you may end up with uh, strange little problems and extra codes and you want to avoid that of course so this is a perfect gadget to avoid that problem okay so my center console is always a mess so one of the things that you can do just to make it easier is to get yourself one of these uh, basically it's an insert and what's really nice about it is you'll notice there's a, a place here specifically to handle uh, both of the plugs here so you simply slip it in so we've got a Put it in like that, you just simply slide it in here, and then the cables still have access. There we go. So I'll just put it all in here, and now it's nice and organized. So that was pretty easy. It does have this little rubbery on the bottom, little rubber side uh, that you can put in here, and it'll keep things from sliding around. And uh, it matches the rest of the inserts I'm about to show you. All right, so look what I found on Amazon. So it's the equivalent of what I just showed you on the insert. This is for everywhere else. So let's go ahead and open these and uh, put them in and see how well they uh, form. All these pieces go somewhere. So the first thing we're gonna probably do is, I'm guessing that the inserts, the most important one to me is this one here. And I should probably go ahead and clean it, but let's just go ahead. And this should of course fit very snugly in there and this will prevent things and of course if you want to wash it you just pull on it take it out and wash it and put it back in so and that's the whole purpose so we've got the other one that goes in the center let's see if this is it let's go it's a little bit on the small side so let's see if i've got a larger one and i do so maybe this one let me just take out my accessory here take this out and see how well this one works and that might be it we've got a couple of different ones so I really think it's the other one this is probably more of a charging a charging pad perhaps or huh, actually it's pretty close so we can either leave that one in there or put this one here I think I'm gonna leave this one in here so that looks pretty good. Of course, we're giving it a hint of red all over the place. I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in there. And let's take a look. So now we're at the portion that goes in here. So let's go ahead and put that into the doors like that. And there we go, so that's one door. And of course the back, so let's go ahead and do the bottom of passenger rear door there we go and the other door let's go ahead this is quite easy to put in push this one this one decided to flop there we go so that's nice and snug in there I was wondering where the second one of these went but then I remembered there's this in the back so this will work out great look at that there we go, that's much nicer like that. And we can now store things like glosses. And yes, you should really be using a case. And of course, usually I've got things like pens. My pen fell under the seat, here we go. So we'll put that on there. Okay, so the large square clearly goes down here. That's fine, of course, I'm gonna be adding my a little insert to it so it's going to make it nice and clean um anybody out there know what that one's for or these two i'm sure there's a nook or cranny somewhere i haven't seen or noticed and that's where those go so that's my mystery right below where you think those go okay so for those of you who are curious about these mats in case you haven't seen them uh, i thought i would maybe show you look the cleaning left to the right all i really did is literally this As you can see it takes the, I mean, look how easy that is to clean. 
So this is one of the reasons why I use the tux mats. Uh, I'm not endorsed by them, but I certainly uh, love the way they communicate back. I send them emails whenever I've got some questions. And uh, they even replaced one of my mats because it had cracked at one point. And uh, they had no questions asked. They just sent me a whole uh, new mat for the driver's side. So I'm going to go ahead and clean these up and put them back in. But as you can tell, uh, getting over the winter is pretty quick and uh, easy. So I'm Bob Peller and CTO Bob. I hope you enjoyed this video. Of course, leave us some comments below. We really enjoy reading those. And you can catch us as well at www.ctobob.com. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.